Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. It's Arsenal facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, both these teams will be looking for a strong finish to the group stages here today in what has been a really good tournament so far. Certainly the quality of the football has been excellent. Just hope that's the case again today. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. The lineup for Leverkusen. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And so the drama begins here at the Bernabeu. Martin Erdegaard. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, the good value for the lead. Nil then. Martin Erdegaard. It's with Erdegaard. Can they take advantage? So 2-0 now. Delivering it. A decisive clearance it was. And he takes on the shots. Well, just narrowly wide of the post that time. in the right place to intercept 
Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Oh, my goodness. He's caught that so well. Three goals without reply. And they need to get tighter here. Is this the moment? And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And over it comes. Well, really stuck defending there. Off the line. Good technique displayed. And let's give credit to the defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? And he might be through here. Fantastic reflex action. But he's gone short with it. Hudson O'Doy. Oh, it might be. And a decent save. Full credit. Trying to pick out a teammate. Blocked it brilliantly. And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Can he take the chance? Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever backhill, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Hudson Odoi. And the attacking options appear plentiful. Might be a chance here. Oh, that's really high class goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Oh. 
Sardar Osman. Takes on the shot. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. And the attack looks promising. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Well, this story has certainly got everyone around the football world talking. Tony Kroos has completed his move to Manchester City. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. Oh, good vision. And the alarm bells are ringing. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look-in. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Osmoon. And the pass could do damage. And he's in. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? He has teammates around him. He'll take this on. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And off the bar that time. Kerem Demirbay. Sardar Osmoon. Diaby. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, you don't get too many score lines like this one. 4-4. Four, four. Diaby. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Still looking to get the shot off. Not to be this time. Under real pressure here. Oh, good work by the keeper. How about the short corner? Damia Bay. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Playing it in. Well, it still could be dangerous. Diaby. Oh, it's astonishing! One of the greatest comebacks you're ever likely to see. And now the question is, can they see this out?
Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Oh, great vision. He's in behind the defence here. Level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Jonathan Ta has it. In Capie. Moussa Diaby. Oh, potential danger. And there it is, a chance. And danger still. He's blocked it. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. And taken short. Damien Bay. The danger not over. But the danger averted for now. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. Will he finish? Well, what a start that was. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Amin Adli and the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes Thomas Partey well let's see what they have in store for them on the break and it will be an Arsenal free kick Counter-attacking, very much an option. Oh, big chance! It has to be, surely. Tammy Abraham. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And the referee decides enough is enough. 
It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. beginning the opening match day of the season and a keen sense of optimism enveloping everyone who will come out on top stay with us we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV well hello and welcome sadly a bit of a bleak picture here at the Vitality Stadium in Bournemouth it's been raining my name's Derek Ray, and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And there are few more enjoyable days on the football calendar than opening day in the Premier League. It's Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Well, what a big start to the season this is, Derek. And you just sense they need to get a good result away from home here if they are to get that Champions League spot.
And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the game begins. Pearson. Dominic Solanke. Well, the supporters think it's on. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, a debut here for Picayo Tomori and a lot of excitement on that basis. Stuart, I wonder what you think we should expect to see from him. Well, it seems like a good signing to me. They've had some problems at the back in recent years, so I think they just want someone they can depend on week in, week out. He reads the game well, though, and certainly can handle himself, so I expect him to fit in well here. Right, Alex, it's over to you, because I understand there's been a goal at the Amex Stadium. It's a goal for Brighton. It's now 1-0 with 12 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Has a go, and a goal! Not bad for starters, they take an early lead! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? At times they make passing look easy. Solanke. Billing. Tremendous challenge. Granit Xhaka. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, could be. Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Stanislas. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that's a super ball over the top. Just needs to stay calm. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Pearson. Now with Solanke. No high quality defending. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. A goal! Another one! 
It's turning into an absolute demolition job. So the game continues, and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Strong play here. Well, on the cusp of the half-time interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, when they play like this, they're such a good... Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Brooks. Solanke, and super tackle, and they've won possession. Tommy Yasu, and the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Oh, he's really opened them up here. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Senesi. And there it is, the referee's whistle, half-time here at the Vitality Stadium. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Here it is now, a substitution. So the corner played into the box. Well, behind for another corner. Can he find the right pass? No way through. Can he do it from miles out? Oh, and it goes! Underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Senesi billing with it, and news coming through from the Amex Stadium someone has scored there, but who? Here's Alex. Another. Oh, hang on, Alex, big chance here. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. <laughs> Wonderful save, <laughs> and they're making a change. <laughs> Thomas Partey 
Well, for understandable reasons in this case, we had to cut off Alex. To confirm, Wolves did find the net in that game. Oh, my goodness! Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting, 6-0. Number four, Ben White. Coming onto the pitch, number six, Gabriel. Pearson. Kiefer Moore. Jovan Cabral with it. Can he finish this? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And he might be through here. Tries to lift it. Oh, how about that for a chip? Savour it. Pure brilliance. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always good inside that stadium and two very good teams. Can he take advantage? And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, they might be onto something. Great opportunity, a goal! We're really being spoiled, this is attacking football at its finest! The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. And news coming through from the Amex Stadium. Someone has scored there, but who? Here's Alex. It's another goal for Wolves. They've pulled one back with just over 10 minutes left to play. Many thanks, Alex. Solanke. Lerma. Dominic Solanke. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but.
Corner kick played in. Pearson. Jefferson Lerma. Individual brilliance. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. And well, we've entered the final five minutes. Now well, that's a well timed pass. It's still alive. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. And so that is that. The referee blows for full time. A victory for Arsenal. Yeah, they should be happy with that. It was a good display, and it's always important to get off to a decent start. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that was a top-class display, wasn't it? He did everything right. He inspired them to victory here today. Live from the English capital, a meeting that you usually can't take your eyes away from. Arsenal against Manchester City. Who's going to prevail this time round? Stay with us for every kick of the ball, live on EA TV. And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Cheers, Derek. Well, it was a good start for Arsenal in their opening match. I don't think, though, they'll be overly happy with their defending. While they were excellent going forward, they look too open at the back. They'll need to improve that today, that's for sure. So they start at 11 for Arsenal. 
Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. John Stones plays with Emery Laporte in central defence. Tony Kroos plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Saka it's with Takahiro Tomiyasu and options in the centre firing it towards goal and a goal right off the bat no wonder they're jumping for joy So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Foden. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Foden. Can he convert? And what a magical save it was! Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, cleared off the line. Alert defending. Corner again. He likes to go short. De Bruyne. Foden. Rodri. Oh, a tremendous block. Given away by City. Martin Odegaard. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. And there it is, a chance. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. away with the lead standing at 2-0 well as you can see Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball but when they have had it they've looked so dangerous particularly when they press high up the field win the ball back in those areas and then counter-attack quickly it's really good without the ball and Ederson has somehow kept it out Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, clattered away. Can he finish? Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. Martin Odegaard. And he has options available. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase.
Partey. He takes aim. Well, in some style, Ederson prevents a goal. Played over. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover-up. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Back in business, and no sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between them in the first half. Will we see a response from City in the second? Force. Big chance. Able to close down the shot. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And it's still on. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. In it goes! He scored on his debut. And his fans are loving that. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the action underway again. Can City go hunting for an equaliser now? Phil Foden well that's how to put in a clean tackle well Spurs have been trying for a while to get this deal over the line and now it is over the line Stuart well the figure being reported is about 30 million pounds which in my view is value for money we know he's talented and on his day he can be an excellent player can he convert and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick absolutely unplayable today what a performance So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. And a goal has gone in at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a second goal for Crystal Palace. They've pulled one back with 61 minutes played. Oh, hang on, Alex. Big chance here. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Martin Odegaard. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. And he's broken free. In it goes! Well, it's one goal after another. A highly impressive performance. Well, on they go again. Arsenal very much in charge. It's turning into a right old thrashing. To be replaced by number six, Gabriel. Tony Kroos. And unfortunately, we did have to cut Alex off there. To confirm, Palace have scored in that game. And they hold the aces presently, leading 2-1. Rodri. Foden. 
exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And he did well to cut it out. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Rodri. Here's Kroos. He's got to score! Oh, and it goes! Another goal! And I'll tell you what, the impossible is becoming quite possible. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, how about this? 4-3. Joao Cancelo on to Holland well, nearing the end of the 90 minutes and Arsenal in charge can they get over the line Stuart interested in your thoughts on their overall performance well going forward they've been excellent but they've also been too open at the back they certainly haven't won this yet both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench Trying to deliver it accurately. And in the end, no damage done. How to play for a Manchester City throw-in. Well, do they have it in them to level this? Now well, the keeper grabs it. And the referee decides enough is enough. It's the end of the game. Arsenal victorious. That's the main headline from this one. Well, I've been really impressed with them, Derek. They've shown a lot of good qualities in their first couple of games. I think they're going to have an excellent season. I really do.